What is going on everyone? The Mac Attack here and welcome to a brand new video for Transformers 1. And today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions here about the whole box office situation for Transformers 1. What I think about it entirely because, well, Transformers fans who loved Transformers 1 are starting to worry like crazy. Because the box office results for Transformers 1, while they're not great, they're not bad at the same time. But, yeah, people are worried that this movie is going to flop, just like Rise of the Beast did. And just like how Bumblebee almost flopped, but at least Bumblebee managed to get a little bit of a success for Rise of the Beast to happen. Now, my honest thoughts about this whole situation is, Transformers 1, it still have yet to go to other theaters around the world, because there's other theaters around the world where Transformers 1 has still not yet came out in theaters. There's other sides of the world where Transformers 1 has not yet released in theaters, so of course more money for the film is still yet to be made. But um, Transformers 1, box office-wise, has a lot of major worries from the Transformers fandom by itself. Some people are blaming the terrible, jokey-jokey comedic teaser trailer for it, being the reason why this film is not making money. Some people are blaming the Bayverse for, obviously... Basically, people are blaming the Bayverse for... the fact that this film even existed and why we shouldn't need any more Transformers films because of how bad the Bayverse films were. And, of course, some people will obviously say that... Because people, after Rise of the Beast, of course, know the interest of the films. Well, basically, they're going to say that a lot of the interest of the Transformers films have been lost due to the existence of Transformers Age of Extinction and Transformers The Last Knight. The two infamous Bay vs. Michael Bay Transformers films that are crit critically hated for millions of reasons. And there's good reasons why those films are hated. And it's sad for me to even talk about that. Because after Bumblebee the movie and Transformers Rise of the Beast came out. Those two films actually gave good reasons for Transformers movies to even exist now. These films did a lot more better than what the Bayverse films even did. Now granted, Rise of the Beast. That film wasn't really there's times where the movie wasn't perfect but the audience made it clear that Transformers Rise of the Beast was a very fun and entertaining film now granted the future after Rise of the Beast is very questionable with the follow-up being a G.I. Joe crossover which details wise makes it seems like it's gonna focus more on the Transformers and less on the G.I. Joes which what is even the point of it being a G.I. Joe crossover when it focuses more on the Transformers? Like, you can't call it a crossover if it's going to be like that. Which, granted, there's nothing wrong with focus on the Transformers. That's what Transformers fans want for Transformers films. The fact that the worry of the box office results in, obviously, that Transformers 1 right now is not looking too good in the box office and other reasons why people are starting to notice that Transformers 1 apparently has already has estimated release dates for digital release and physical DVD release. Which, hilarious enough, I found the 4K DVD of Transformers 1 available, available for pre-order right now, which I pre-ordered it because, again, like I said, I love the movie. I thought it was so fucking good. And, of course... Just like I own, like I bought the 4K DVD of Bumblebee, Transformers Rise of the Beast, because I both love those films. And 
Obviously, I bought the 4K DVD collection of all five of the Babers films, mainly just to watch the first three films that I actually like more than the fourth and fifth movie, for good reasons, by the way. I'm a Transformers fan either way. Of course, I'm going to add Transformers 1 to my collection of Transformers movies on DVD next to the G1 Transformers movie, the 4K DVD I got for that, because I'm a Transformers fan. And if I love Transformers 1, of course I'm going to buy the 4K DVD of it. Now, companies are no strangers for releasing early dates for digital and physical copies. Warner Brothers has done that with their films when they flopped. Other companies has done that for films that flopped. Disney has done that for films that has flopped. Lots of companies do that. So, of course, Paramount obviously has listed their film, Transformers 1, available for pre-order on digital and physical. There's nothing wrong with that. Even when Transformers Rise of the Beast came out in theaters, that movie right away, day one in theaters, that movie already got available for pre-order on 4K DVD. That, I even saw that after I seen it day one. <laughs> like, that's just nothing new. But yeah, I get the worry for the flop, possible flop of Transformers 1 because Josh Cooley teased that there was more to the story to be told after Transformers 1. Transformers 1, if you've seen it, basically pretty much teased that there was more to come for this story. And at the end of the day, with how good this film really became... Yeah, people want more after Transformers 1. People want to see how the story continue. Myself included, I want to see this story continue. I want to see what Josh Cooley has left to tell. This was a damn good film. Josh Cooley knew what he was doing with this film. And we saw that. And if this film ends up flopping... To the point to where we don't get that trilogy. The second one and the third one. Leading directly to the fall of Cybertron. This is going to be one of the biggest, biggest, all for nothing things that ends up happening. And just the thought of Transformers 1 being one and done. It sounds so stinking terrible to me. Because that film is good. It deserves a trilogy. And I will say this forever. It deserves a trilogy. And as long as the audience loves the film, and they do, this story should continue. It shouldn't matter what the box office does. It should matter if the audience loves it. But unfortunately, the producer, as clueless as he is, made it very clear that there's only one reason that sequels will happen. If this film succeeds in the box office. And unfortunately this film is not really doing that great. But again, look. As I said, there are still chances for this film to make a little more money. And be able to become successful. Another reason why this film is potentially flopping in such a bad way. Because Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Is pretty much beating it right now. And that's understandable because it's Beetlejuice. It's a Warner Brothers icon. This sequel was a long time coming. And this film, to diehard fans of Beetlejuice, obviously, people liked this movie. People liked it. They liked it as much as the first film did. And this film seems to be doing very good. So, obviously, this movie, unfortunately is Transformers 1's competition, and Transformers 1 pretty much is losing at this point. But again, like I said, there's still some hope for other, theater, other theaters when Transformers 1 comes out in those other theaters. Transformers 1 can still make some money. And it can make probably make some money when it comes out in digital. Because sometimes, digital releases helps the movie make the money it needs. But... Not all the time, but sometimes it does.
but Transformers 1, unfortunately, is flopping a little bit. And yeah, it's got people worried that this film is going to flop and it's going to be just that one and done film where it leads to nothing because of box office performance. And I, really, I hope that this film doesn't flop because this film needs its trilogy. This film was good and this film being just its one thing, just the thought of that sucks even more. So, um, that's what I got to, that's what my thoughts and what I have to say about this whole box office situation for Transformers 1. And that's all I got to say. But what do you guys think of the box office situation for Transformers 1? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below for more videos in the future of this channel. And tell me what you thought of Transformers 1 in the comment section below. And stay tuned tomorrow because I'm going to be doing buttloads of reaction videos tomorrow where I react to game trailers from not just only the Sonic Central event coming tomorrow where we get to see future, the first look of future Sonic the Hedgehog games coming next year, but State of Play is officially tomorrow by PlayStation and we could be seeing some good stuff, potentially. Maybe. We'll see. And this Thursday and Friday, I'll be unboxing two of my Transformers Studio Series figures that I got for my birthday for you guys to watch on my channel. And click the bell and the notification down below to stay updated for more content in the future of this channel going forward. I will see you guys in my next video. The Mac Attack, signing out. Have a good one.